actually in the buy for the go global tour that we did for globalogy met so many of you and got detailed insights about how hiring is done in the dubai market i know that dubai is a hot selling cake in 2024 everybody is thinking of moving there so if you are looking for a job in dubai and it doesn't matter whether you have experience or not you've landed on the right video because i'm gonna help you do just that so make sure you stick around Hello and Namaste, my name is Adina Gori and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time around here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a regular visitor, you've probably seen this background before. I am in India. I am in Dalkula, a small town in West Bengal where my in-laws live. And shooting in this place is quite nostalgic because I also shot a couple videos here last year. Now before coming to Dalkula, before even coming to India, I had toured Dubai. I was there for three days. We started with our Go Global tour there. We had more than 80 attendees that gave me direct insights about how the Dubai job market is and what they are looking for in future. I also had networking catch-ups with a lot of recruiters and everything that I learned on the trip has helped me get this video together. We're going to divide the video in three segments. The first one being understanding the Dubai market. The second one being how can you catch up with networking, which is absolutely critical and essential. What's the way to start? And third, what are the extra things that you can do to make sure that you can land a job in Dubai? And since now my laptop is here, let's get started with point number one, which is how has the Dubai market changed over the years? Now, for people who don't know, back in the days, Dubai was a very take a visit visa, go there and look for a job market. But that thing has completely changed after the pandemic with technology taking over recruitment. In today's day and age, it is not advisable that you just take a tourist visa and land there. Please make sure that you have some networking connects established before you even do that. I also learned that Dubai is more of a WhatsApp hiring market. So there are a lot of WhatsApp groups where opportunities get posted for specific fields. And if you are in those groups, then you can forward your resumes. If you know somebody in the group, they can help you get connected to the right opportunities. So if you're planning to take a visit visa, go to Dubai, make all that investment, make sure that you do this step which i'm going to tell you now before doing all of that don't do the money and time commitment until the networking bit is figured out which brings me to segment number two how to start networking with recruitment agencies so i've got a list of top 10 recruitment agencies in dubai this is obviously hand-picked you know crowdsourced information this might not be the most accurate information, but everything that I'm presenting today is whatever I learned on my Dubai trip. You can start out by networking with these recruitment agencies. Also try to identify who in your personal or professional network has moved to Dubai and see if they can get you connected to the right WhatsApp groups. Tell them you're not looking for a referral, you're just looking to get connected with like-minded professionals. And now get ready to take screenshots of all the UAE recruitment agencies that I'm going to recommend in this video. I leave all the names on the screen so that you can easily take screenshots and make notes. The first on my list is Guild Hall Agency. This is by far one of the most reputed recruitment agencies within Dubai and have gotten multiple awards in 2021, 2022 and 2023. They work with a lot of top tier companies in UAE like SAP, Forbes, Adia, etc. The second one on my list is Adeco. I know that this is a Swiss company, but they established their Dubai operations in 2008 and for the last 15 plus years, they've been excelling in providing recruitment services. They have more than 35,000 employees globally and continue to be one of the world leaders in recruitment. The third on my list is BAC, which which is a Dubai-based recruitment firm which was founded in 1979. And since then, they've expanded their capabilities to the MENA region, making it one of the most prominent recruitment needs in the corporate circles. The fourth company on my list is Charterhouse. It's an Australian company that started in 2003 and expanded its operations to Dubai in 2004. They have more than 20 years of hiring in the UAE market and offer a lot of one-on-one -on -one feedback, interview suggestions, mock interview prep, resume writing services, and all of that. The fifth company that I'll recommend is Hayes. It was established in Dubai in 2005 and has gone on to be a world leader in recruitment services. The next one on my list is Michael Page with over 139 offices globally. Again, a world leader in hiring international professionals. The next on the list is Mindfield Resources. This caters to all the small and mid-sized companies in UAE. They do have some big clients as well, but mostly they cater to the mid-size and small-size companies. On number eight on the list is Nadia Global with over 40 years of experience in recruitment. Second last on this list is RTC. This was founded in 1992 and has more than 28 offices globally and offers a lot of tailored recruitment services. The last one and probably one of the best on my list today is Sankrut. This is a top leading recruitment firm in UAE. They've gotten multiple awards and they work with brand names of all kinds that you can think of. 
Now, since you've gotten the names of the top 10 recruitment firms that I recommend for Dubai, I highly suggest that you go on to their portals, look at what are the roles available, make sure that you sign up with your profile and continue doing the search for the next top 10 and the next top 10 and the next top 10. Your goal should be to cover at least 100 recruitment agencies. There are more than 150 that I was given a list of. And if you want that list, let me know in the comments below. But I was given a list and I did my own research and I picked out these top 10. You can do your own research, find more recruitment firms and network with them. And with this, the second segment of this video is done and we're going to talk about segment number three, which is what is it that you can do extra. So first up, get creative. Don't use the portals that everybody else is using. Go for things that are newer and lesser advertised. So for example, there's a portal called Dubai Careers. It is run by the government of Dubai. It's for government roles. And while a lot of roles are for UAE nationals, many of them are not. So that is something that you could potentially apply to. Imagine working for the government directly. Wouldn't that be amazing? So the second thing that you can do is look at options beyond Dubai. Sharjah and Abu Dhabi are great options because they are at the corners of Dubai. But don't forget that UAE is made up of seven emirates. So you can also consider Fujairah, Ras Al Khaimah, etc. And get an opportunity there and eventually move to Dubai. This is a route that I call transit route in all my master classes and is something that I highly recommend because it will help you avoid competition. Obviously, don't forget to apply for DBA, which is the Dubai Business Associate Program. In this, the government of Dubai will give you an opportunity to come to Dubai. They'll train you for nine months, they'll cover all your costs, give you a stipend, and also help you with placement. It's an amazing opportunity. Signing up is free. I've already done a detailed video on that, so I'm going to leave that link in the description for you. So go ahead and apply to that opportunity as well and look out for more such unique opportunities. I post a lot of these on my Instagram and I know from my research the government is continuously coming up with inventive, innovative programs to get more and more foreign talent in. On that note, this video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you had a lot of takeaways from this video. If you have any questions about Dubai, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get them answered by the local contacts that I have. And if there's anything specific, I would absolutely not mind doing another video. So let me know all your thoughts, comments, anything that you're thinking about Dubai or any other country in the comment section below. And before you zap off, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It is the best way to show support to me and it is completely free to do. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Stay safe. Namaste.